it going, everybody? So as a small business owner, checking your app analytics is extremely important. So I'm going to show you guys how to check your app analytics after your app has been launched into the app stores. To do that, head over to the Manage tab on the left-hand side and scroll down to Analytics. Now when you get here, you're going to see a few things. You're going to see your downloads, and this is example data, and you'll be able to see downloads, total sessions, and then also the average time that people spend inside of your mobile application. These are all things that you're going to want to improve, and there are definitely ways to improve them, and that's through marketing your app to your customers. But to dive into this as an overview, Downloads is how many times people download your app on iPhones or Androids. Sessions are how many times people open the app more than once. So we have nine people that have opened the app 39 times. And those nine people, on average, spend about 0.7 minutes inside of a mobile application. A good rule of thumb is you want to have your mobile app users spending at least one or two minutes inside of your mobile application. And you can also compare basically the usage of iOS versus Android versus HTML5. And then you can even see the location of these users as well. You can also dive into which features are most popular. As we see here, the location feature seems to have the most sessions. The share photo feature is also very popular. And you can break it down um, with these bar graphs to see by device which feature is being used most on which device. So on location, it's being used most on, surprisingly, the HTML5 feature, the mobile website version, um, and then in second place, the iPhone version, and then lastly, the Android version. Probably because you don't have any Android downloads. So viewing your app analytics is very easy, and, and it's a great way to really keep track of how your app is performing, and then giving you some ideas on how to improve your app. For example, if you want more people to be using your loyalty feature, it may be a good idea to send out a push notification, which you can also do over here on the left-hand side, to encourage them to utilize that feature. So I hope this was a good overview of how the app analytics work, and I look forward to seeing you drive up the usage of your app analytics. Thanks, everybody.